finally. I can't even defend myself, that's such an interesting flavor. Okay, can I go and get the thing that I want for my freaking shiny option, please? There's gonna be a cutscene waiting me here, isn't it? That's yes, okay. There you are, Koi. Just because you didn't agree to me doesn't mean you got get to keep me waiting. So that, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you for a bit. You haven't told anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, I haven't. You better tell me lying. If I find out you've been out, I'm gonna make you swap all a whole a coughing hole. Psh, no, you go up. Gross. You still have the thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. Can I go get the thing I want first? That's so grandpa, the, you know, the thing we found. Somewhere over here is where it is. As long as I see a stand there, that should be fine. Also... I know I wanted the new evolution to be the Hunt and Destiny's one, but uh, I don't grab it in this anyways. Because <laughs> I felt like I could grab this a lot sooner. Ducklet. There you are! I'll buy another one so I can get one that's not shiny. Don't please we already know what the unshiny one looks like. Now, finally, this happens all the way from Galon. Has a new form. Go on, buddy! I'm glad I waited to get, have a shiny and get this. Because this is Tippin! Tiplin. Tiplin! The candy apple Pokemon! Tiplin is two creatures and one Pokemon! It's definitely used to be triggered by a special apple grown only in one place! Done double hit! Now it can finally be usable in battle! <laughs> At long last, took a while. Bring it up all the level 6, wait level 6 because it can. Let's start with placing moves. Steal a bomb. Bump of moves. Dragon tail. And Dragon Breath too, why not? Oh, hey kiddo, wait, don't tell me. Right, just got over 100 Pokemon for the Kitakami Kitama Pokedex? Now I know you're the real deal. That's right. It's not that much though. Pretty impressive. You must be something really special, kiddo. You probably know about all about the Pokemon on here in Kitakami than I do, and I got this test. Which reminds me. I've got a favor to ask you, see? A real Pokemon can't be like you, it's just what I need. What kind of favor? Oh, did I take your curiosity? Now you don't seem to be seem afraid to poke your head into new things. In that case, let me tell you what I'm all, what I'm all about. The reason I came here to Kitakami was actually to find a certain Pokemon and photograph it. I've been searching all, all, all on my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. So, kiddo, how about doing me a solid by helping me with my search? I don't you forever. Rumor has it that the Pokemon I'm looking for is pretty forcefully strong. Just think, you could catch it and bring it along on your adventures. Wouldn't that be helpful? I know to pick your interest, but still, I need you to prove you're strong enough to help. If we're really gonna power up on this thing, then I wanna know you're all cut for it. Dad, and I wanna get a good shot of you looking all heroic and everything. 
So what I'm getting for this is that this is not a this time sign. Okay, understood. Time for me to take a perfect shot. At your confidence, that is. Ready to show me what you got? Sure. Yes, then let's just put a bit of a distance between us. I have to keep my shots to focus. Nah, I'm not so strong, but don't hold back and don't mind me stopping if you start while I'm at it. Parent of phot Photographer! Knocked Owl! Give me a nice while we can with you. I'll take a real good shot if you do. So, uh, Perrin, if you already can tell, is a possible descendant of Adamant from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oof, that was a serious hit. I need to drop my camera in shock. Ah, of course you did. Okay. I said Vaxxed over a This seems like it's a, a, a post game thing. Ow. Uh, I can explain. Uh, no, we got out of here. Save me. Uh. Expressive defense, because that moon blast is gonna hurt if if I don't. You're waiting for someone to put me to sleep, huh? Let me just get rid of my dragon type, my dragon type like that, so it's not gonna be as effective damage as you think it might be. Yo, really insisted on trying to put me to sleep, huh? I was suggesting you stop. Especially when I would Especially when Noah goes into maximum overdrive. Just so she can slightly outspeed anything. There we go. Muddy water. I don't need curse. Leafy on. Truly is Adamant's descendant. How about a new challenger? This one won't be easy to beat. <laughs> Mine won't be easy for yours to beat either, I'm just saying. Truly is a descendant of Adamant as he has the Leafy on. And I say a uh, descendant of Adam Man because uh, we know who the father is, we have zero idea who the mother is. Come on, Leafy, let's take the ultimate shot. Big shot. Ah, yes, Leaf Blade. Keep trying. Might be out of my DQ a little bit, this isn't like in the 70s. Why do you have Exorcism?
fans are gonna move. <laughs> well, we're not done. Goodbye. Now that's a keeper. You know something, alright? I got a bunch of good songs for you and Axon too. I think it's about half what it takes to hold your you want to get the Blood Wound Beast. The Blood Wound Beast? Yeah, there's a certain also Luna I've been searching for. It's known as the Blood Wound Beast. Have you ever, ever heard of also Luna? Where is they want all that? Uh, Oh, that uncommon a long, long time ago. See, Ursa Luna is a Pokemon that usually has this big yellow mark on its forehead resembling a full moon, but they say this one's mark is red. A red moon, as if seen through a veil of blood. That's why they call it a Blood Moon Beast. This Ursa Luna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hisui. There it is, there was a mention! Seems like it crossed over the water to see the Kitakari at some point and made itself comfy. If the two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones to finally find and snap us out of it. And if we do... Kiddo! No, not kiddo. Partner! Let's tackle this together so we can find a problem with for sure. Let's do it. I knew you'd be up for it. No way, I'm sure to reward your hard work. Word well, has it that the problem with beast has been seen in an area north east of only mountain called the Timeless Woods. I right now, wait now, and wait for you there. Come on, Growlithe. So well, because Pokemon cannot have a great track record, uh, the DLC got leaked, and uh, this Blood Moon Ursa Luna was spoiled to me. Yeah, I know, surprising. I can't have one ge Pokemon game without having something spoiled to me. <laughs> Just can't seem to have that nowadays, can't we? What are you doing? What? Is there something I can help you with? Yes. In fact, here it is right now. What's this? A tandem house? They're lovey duffy. They come and play us and they're always together? So they are all Pokemon that I did that I had over here to be totally like we are. This one's so nice to Pokemon. How about we teach you a special puzzle return? Hard wide mode and the hard last mode for the lovely lovey duffy couple. Right, because Battle Boss was totally the thing we needed for board player stuff, okay. <laughs> well, if you, ever, if you ever wanted that post for your last play, uh, there you are. It's right there. Alright, that's an area I have not even been to yet. That, this is gonna be a while for climb. Then again, we're already here, then. <laughs> I've decided this was a necessary thing to do before the main story. But, uh, good thing there's a bit of a break in the story for us to do this. So, we logically have a point that. Despite Tommy wanting us to head there right away, uh... <laughs> bit of a good explanation as to why we're delaying ourselves as we are. Good, yeah, just like that. Okay, now give me... cute! Yes, look at you, you clever thing. Lovely. Now hold up for just a sec. Yes, that's really that's really little cutie pie. Wow, look at you! I didn't even know you could put out put out that kind of expression. It's not photogenic. It's too adorable, you know that? I could eat you right up. What's this? Looks now extra stuff you can stuff for me? Don't mind if I do. More! I need more! Someone give it give me extra storage and a napkin too! Come on! Oh, hey partner, you made it! How long have you been standing there? You weren't uh, listening and all that stuff, right? Uh, nope, don't want to know, forget I asked. Anyway, it's right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beast. Curiously, all the sights of night was heavy fog. In fact, I've heard all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. I'm sure that the Blood Moon Beast is one of them, it's gotta be. Oh, it's time to keep right back from another photo shoot. No, it's an Oreo dose! 
Ow, ow. Ah! that hand. Kiddie! <laughs> You're just messing with the wrong kind of Pokemon. Ah! What a time for nice to give out with this great photo while fighting in front of me! Hey, I think seeing you up over there, stop a couple of stops for me, would you? You're good. You have the camera in your hands. Toxic spread. <laughs> oh no, my speed, and I'm poisoned. <laughs> what a shame, it's gonna be fully healed by this battle somehow. Anyways, goodbye. Double up. Ow, oh, that really surprised me. I can't answer Gato. Next partner. And thanks to you too, of course. I feel a bit bad for that, though, Gato's. Probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. But it only attacked because it was surprised. We should set up a tent. I don't know if the Pokemon know we're here and have to get used to us. What is that? Okay. I got a question. Oh, that's a shame intent! That's cute! That's cute! <laughs> What's this? Poisoned? You're so poisoned, okay. <laughs> it can hear you HP, it won't, it won't cure you of stance conditions. Slap. I can merge. She may be old, but she's still a fine tent, eh? It's actually my dad's, but he wasn't using it, so I just told myself to it. Say hello to the new base of our points for so the Blood Moon Beast. Now, the Blood Moon Beast is way more... way more worried than an ordinary Pokemon. That's why there have been so few sightings, or so to say. That means we're going to need to do some slow and steady groundwork if we want to find it. This is photography, photographic Pokemon. I want you to take photos of the Pokemon that appear around here on foggy nights. Look for lots of pictures of a good variety of Pokemon. Afterward, I went to your photo day into my handy Pokemon searcher. Over time, I'll train it to ignore any sign of other Pokemon that live around here. Killing all that noise will let us pinpoint exactly where the Blood Moon Beast is. I'm gonna get a little brilliant. <laughs> well, you actually understood that? That's just running off what the manual said. Actually, that's the Pokemon species that tends to open it. I want to focus force on foggy nights. Spread the load, so I have 10 species of Pokemon. I'm looking forward to clear for as I get the Pokemon nice and big of frame. I'll stick up on foot to get close my no no one big noise Pokemon. Let's just do it. <laughs> That's a Morgan. Morning for survey duty. <laughs> Glad I also don't have to wait for this to happen. <laughs> Otherwise that'd be real annoying. Begin survey! Ah, uh, second back at the, the Zonkeys again. So we just spoke much the well. It's very easy to be thinking for a tree in the fog. Can I see my hopes we found him? There we go in there. There we go again with thinking that for a button I can seek on. Which I can't. That's close enough for you. Do you think it, do you think it's fine to spin up a new weapon in the trees? Seeing those little lights running in the dark is all is all overworldly, huh? That's a little better. <laughs> oh my god, really? How close do you want me to snap starts with these Pokemon, girl? God. There we go. <laughs> I just noticed that those go coming by and just got it. Do 
Do, 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 do. Moving on. What's the next one I can find? Hello, that's new. That's a hoot hoot. If I was wanting to get this off, it's switching it to put its hands on. Like Thunder or something? I wonder if it could be that type Pokemon. I don't know if he says. I've gone so far away. Is he able to stick up a Pokemon? <laughs> well, that's not all for those who wanted to try. I know, I'll actually poke one in here. Tinebo, you've got a real knack for this. Spine starting so tiny. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad I noticed that. <laughs> it's like you can only tell unless you're looking everywhere else and not seeing anything else moving. There's another pseudo widow. I think I'll be the trees. That, that like isn't anything I've already gotten. Look at that! Now that's the good life, just running around, I guess. That's a bit of a There we go. Let's take out some some play in the dog, maybe? Survey complete! Okay, so if we just compare the photos we both took, it looks like we photographed every Pokemon known to appear in the forest when it's foggy. We did it! We really pulled it off! I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Wow! I would send all the data to Pokemon Switch and... Wait, I guess it's supposed to take a little bit for all the data to be a process or whatever. You know, the photos you took were all we were good upon it. It's kind of nice for this. So, Bill, what were you thinking about and most when you, when you were taking those photos? Comes in the Pokemon as they are, I guess. Trying to come to the Pokemon as they are. So, you really want to show how the Pokemon live pure and not adult reading, huh? I, uh, I'm maximizing a bit of a stomp myself. And even a kid like you knows what a stomp is, right? Like, when nothing seems to go right for you. You might not believe it, but when I was younger, I was lauded as a photography prodigy. Everyone loves my photos, absolutely everyone! But in these past few years, I feel like I've lost my spark and my photos show it. They black hard. The awards have all dried up, the accolades too. And the longer it keeps dragging on, and the more I lose sight of what it is I even want to capture with my photos. What? That's when I heard the stories about the Blood Moon Beast. I left for key to call me as fast as I could. I thought that if I could just get a photo of an astounding Pokemon like that, then. Maybe, just maybe, something inside of me would change. It'll be okay. Thanks, Bonnie. And sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring down the whole mood of my, my, my problems. Oh, I guess my thing's on doing, doing a thing. But that jingle. At least I have the same wall in my dryer place when it's not allowed. <laughs> Too funny. Who decided to use that? Can you just give me any, any, give it, can you just give me anything a jingle now? Anyway, if we filter out all of our data, looks like there's still one hit out there in the foggy woods. That's gotta be the Blood Moon Beast. We finally found it. <laughs> this is it. You know, Dr. You really helped me fall someone out of attention. I think I'm ready to go oh, me to Blood Moon Beast. How about you, partner? Are you ready? Not really, but yes. Yes, they were off. I mean, it's good to get it saved anyway, so. Find time for me to capture the Bowman Beast. On film, that is. 
If that if things start to look dicey, I'll be counting you to hand it around, like partner. Cool, Wild. You too, of course, Wild. Now then, let's get going. Down here we go, and the Pokemon Surge came up from somewhere around here. It's awfully quiet. Too quiet, one might say. Don't let you go down. Got it. Are those footsteps? That was making them must be huge. Hi. Ah! It's got a red moon on its forehead. It's the Bromo Beast. It's it's real. We actually found it. Huh? What? Oh, hey, my camera. Now you just be a good little beast and stay right there. I'll stop a photo. What? Sorry, the other side's just. Ah! Well, are you ready? Whoa. Sounds like that to know. How about you, partner? I got it covered. Sorry, and thanks, he's got this. It's a Legend of Arceus Battle Team! It's a Legend Oh my god! What a weapon! That's the Nuna Debarro Beast! Break, break it! Go! This is great! I'm right up close to the action! Keep it going while I stop some starts! Come on, Moon! Jeebus! Okay, uh, no, your turn. Let's tell you what to actually stand a chance against this thing. That looked like it was a special attacking move, so I was special defense. Oh, it too is actually popping up, that's bad. Yeah, Oh my god, seriously. Am I gonna have to seriously start this out? This is gonna be real anticlimactic if we do it that way, bud. If we could just miss the Sunday, that'd be nice. That's not a miss. God, if there's one thing I was, I was, I've actually felt surprised on it, it's the, it's the fact that the Legends of Arceus Battle Theme just returns. They didn't have to do that, but it's real, real, I really appreciate it, I really appreciate it. It, it just makes sense too, because this is probably what we're talking about. 
literally a future descendant of Adaman. It just... How could you not? How could you not? That's one thing I just love. That's one thing I love about this. About this battle of anything. Just keep iron hunting. Ooh, a national expression. This is wonderful. Just so much good stuff to capture. Ow. Ow. Keep iron heading. Keep smacking your head against it. We'll wear it down eventually. Ow. There we go. The problem with the three. That's a chance to catch upon him. I was hoping I had a moon ball for this. You know what? You want friend? And of course, I spent a <laughs> quick cap. First caption, of course. Oh, so Luna was caught. Oh, so Luna, the pea Pokemon. Blood moon form. It crossed the sea and drifted ashore in a new land. Surviving in this place started to take on a new, uh, on a unique appearance and gain special powers. Mind's Eye. The Pokemon ignores changes to opponents' evasiveness. Its accuracy can't be lowered, and it can hit ghost types with normal and fighting type moves. So this is a combination of a few abilities I'm noticing. You okay, Pona? I didn't seriously think he'd go toe to toe with the Blumber Beast, so I don't catch it. That was amazing, absolutely amazing. Wow, wow! Now, Liz, you've got to work on his nose a bit, bud. Oh, no. <laughs> but my heart is still being a mile a minute, might as well. I'm just gonna stop having such a few bounds of the Blumber Beast. I bet you want to give the Pokemon a test to the rest of the cover, though, huh, Pona? Stay back to camp for now. Packing up to hotel and calling a day feels a bit sad, like the end of an invention. I'm gonna have to understand your partner. Because of you, I finally feel like I have some authority that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way, seriously. Yeah, now that I'm, now that I'm more motivated, it's time to write this feeling to seize the day. How many packages for this instant to get these photos developed? As you all say in my family, time wasted is lost, so I'm not wasting any more time. Let's meet again in Mastui. Good on! I've been waiting for you to come back, partner. I managed to find the photos I took with the blood, blood, blood movies. I can words. How do they look? Oh, well, fact is that once I got them all printed out, I could see the photos I ran together while blowing or cut off or out of focus. They really aren't good enough to show anyone, not even you, partner. What? Still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be one of my favorites. I think I got them too caught up in my own head, worrying about framing or what judges might say. I always think about what I ought to capture. But just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what photos should be. You taught me such a good point, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, that's right, your name, I never even asked for your name, partner. I know that's soft of me, after all that you did well, but mind teaching me your name? Y you can call me Koi. Koi, a perfect name for a gutsy kid like you. 
Right then, I have to officially meet you, Coley. Denise Bowen, a photo a composer, we need a lot of photography. I can say that was fine now. Ah, and you were warned. If any stuff, we are toy. We are toys will work for all the happy men. <laughs> Choice golf, I get it. Oh, this battle have fun as a younger brother. We did those battling. We can do a better job facing it and wishing you good and strong. <laughs> and the free is doing a growlers! I think they're not after that. I don't want to came to here to do so, I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. But, you know, Grouch like the is all well known for living and working but together in pairs. Even if we also have waited for a while, I bet the past might just cross again someday. So you hate the one with Kira in the meantime. We'll definitely meet again. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off. I've got no hopes. So, bye for now, Koi. Until next time. Bye, bye! Alright, so, now that we've helped Purin out with capturing a blood moon form of an Ursa Luna, I think I'm going to call it here for now. Next time, let's play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask. We're going to catch up with Carmine and uh, tell her grandparents about the Teal Mask that we've retained from Ogre Pond, the Pokemon that we've met during the first day of the Festival of Masks. See you guys then.